Hey guys, and welcome to a new type of video today. Today is going to be sort of a little discussion about ragging. Now, there's been some really stupid things going on lately, such as JMods killing raggers, and apparently, according to a few streams, I'm not sure if this is verified though, apparently, some raggers are actually getting banned. Now, banning a whole account for ragging, it's kind of stupid. Not not because raggers shouldn't be banned and it, it, oh no, poor raggers. It's actually it's actually really making this game worse because a ragger doesn't always rag so if he's getting uh, banned for actually ragging then that's just another PK gone out of this game and right now that is is definitely not what we need to be honest for the game to survive you know banning a whole player for some stupid things such as how they PK is wrong it is pathetic it's very annoying but they should definitely not be getting banned for it as well as the Jagex mod actually killing the raggers no come on that that's not professional what we need to do is stop them from being able to rag instead of banning them and killing them for it now because I'm a bit of a nerd I actually sat down and spent quite a while thinking of a way to stop this because this little post here so I thought alright yeah, let's, let's give it a go let's see what we can do and I've actually come up with a a, a kind of nice method really I'm gonna call it something really new, nerdy like the initiation protocol because why not right uh, I'm actually gonna need the a notepad up because I wrote down in quite quite detail actually so yeah I'll jump to that in a minute alright here we are we're actually Oh, excuse me, we're actually at the notepad where I've written down the key points of my uh, suggestion basically. So I'm going to keep this nice and short to not try and bore you to death. But yeah, there you go, the project initiation protocol, because I'm in there. Let's stop ragging spec rushing, let's get a bit cheesy. So, <laughs> God, that sounds so wrong. Anyways, let's start, let's get started here. A player may only initiate an attack if said item is carried. Now we'll go on, move on to that a little bit later, but a player may only cast a spell if said item is carried. So, a player will always be able to fight without the said item. They just can't start a fight. So, you know, you, it's not like you're going to be there not being able to hit anyone as they hit you because you're not carrying anything. That would be kind of stupid. But here's where the said item comes in hand. Said item can be defined by understanding what the average PK takes to PK. So that can be such as a Granite Maul, a Dragon Simmer, or a Rune Sebo, or an Obby Maul. Just just so they're actually carrying something instead of, like, you know, their two runes and a friggin' staff and that's it and they're just running back in and out. It actually means if you kill them, you're going to get more than the absolutely nothing which they usually carry, which is so goddamn annoying. But I go into a little bit more information just in case that isn't the best method. Uh, as I put, the new system would check that the player has the said item before attacking. Obviously, that makes sense. It's not their risk. It's not that they have to risk this. It's just that they're carrying it. So if this ragger then attacks someone, then they are then obviously you know risking this sort of stuff. But this is not risk like the bounty hunter world. This is just you have to carry it. Yeah, I just wanted to clear that up because you know people are think might be thinking, whoa, what the hell? I'm not going to be risking all this crap. I understand that. So. Anyways, as we go in, although RuneScape can't, can't define the street prices of an item because there's no grand exchange, the system could, however, actually use the base... The, you know, that didn't make much sense, but anyways, yeah, the base risk versus the ALK prices. So the game can figure out the risk on the ALK prices. So let's say the ALK price has to add up to 50k, which I know is possible because the game already knows the ALK value, otherwise how else would you get the coins after ALK in an item? Because it, it wouldn't make much sense if you didn't know that. So yeah. That's pretty much it. I mean, you can base it off the items or the ALK price. It's just so the player's actually carrying something of wealth. This is going to stop, you know, one item, no risk raggers such as them fucking crystal bow raggers. You, we've all been through it. This one more and won't get off you just with a crystal bow. You're killing these bones. He's back within 30 seconds. Now, this system would stop him from doing that. And that really needs to be done, that's for sure. But, yeah, let's, let's follow this word by word. The new system would... Stop one item rushing, such as the G Maulers and the Falador crew. You, you've been Falador in a PvP world. It's just DDSs, G Maulers, and just a lot of mess. D, D Maces. Just one item is running around, just killing you as you get there. So it'll also stop no risk ragging, such as the Crystal Bow, which we've talked about, as well as like you know your Amulet of Magic and two friggin' TBs and a staff, like literally 700 GP. 800 GP, it's really annoying because even if you do kill them, little bastards, you get nothing for it and they just piss you off all day. 
So that stops that. This new system will also stop the welfare PK into the extreme case of the risking 700 GP. Now this is more for the pures, where you know you've got a D sim, you've got a DDS, you're risking about 50k, which is fair as a pure. And then this little moron comes up to you with like you know your monk robes, your strength, I mean, your GM will go, eh, no matter what, he won't get off you. You run into the bank, he's fucking waiting. Why is he waiting there? Can't he do something else all day? Nope, he's just got to wait there, and it, it's just so stressful. I mean, to the to the state where you just most people just want to stop PK. And that's where the term ragging bad comes from because it, it just disrupts the PK and it pisses off the real PKers. Now, I may be ranting a bit here, but God, I'm pretty sure most people have been through this ragging scenario and it, it just it doesn't end. It, it never it never ends. I mean, they just won't fuck off. I mean, God damn. Okay, moving on. There, now, the second part of this initiation protocol that I've written down is actually about the special attack because half of this video is about Russian. Now, I've died many, many, many times while making PK video to these AGS morons and Mystic running out going, eh, and hopefully for a hoping for a fucking 70, which they never really do, but now and then they do do it and you die. And even if they just hit a 50 and don't kill you, that's there you go, that's three sharks gone. you got to re-fucking bank and it, it's just, it puts you off. And rushing is lame, you know, it, it takes the whole fun out of the PK in. And sure, you get them little friggin' morons now and then who do the Debo rushing videos, and god damn it's stressful when it happens to you. So, this part of the uh, initiation protocol uh, is actually to get rid of that special attack where they can just run out of a Varrock bank and Debo you and run back in and. It keeps going on for like, what am I doing with my hands? My hands are moving everywhere. But it's to actually stop this from happening. So, basically, let's start. A player cannot ish initiate a special attack within 10 seconds of combat. Now, you think from walking when going back to PKing, when have you ever spec within the first 10 seconds unless you combo like a motherfucker? But in general, it really doesn't happen. You know, you're not going to pull out your AGS and hit like a 70 in the first 10 seconds, especially if you're. Uh, a defense PK. I mean, for the pures, it can be a little bit rough, but just wait the 10 seconds, mate. That's that's about four to five D sim hits. Then you can DDS. This is going to stop people running out of the bank and Debo specking you and running back in. This is going to stop all that DDS and Gmall motherfuckers who blitz you and run in and free it with a Gmall. God damn, you just went in. <sighs> okay, well, let's get back in trap. And then finally, a player cannot cast the teleblock within 10 seconds of combat. Now, these two are only for the PvP worlds because Wilderness, generally, you want to leave that alone for the more... I don't know what you'd call them. The, the more... Hmm. Anyways, the people who just want 07 stay 07 and they hate every goddamn update and for, no matter what on the forums, they're just going to disagree with you. Even though you can have the best idea in the world, they're just going to disagree because it is an update on RuneScape 2007 and they want it to stay like that. So... My proposal is to keep this out of the wilderness and let those people be there, you know, be like that. Now, the, cause these will apply for the PvP worlds. I mean, because once you already hit someone, you can't you, you can't hit them anyway, because that's the anti-rush rule. But what happens when you're not in a fight, you know, th th this needs to go the whole way. The first 10 seconds you cannot be spec with, you know, and a teleblock, because... You know, let's say you are genuinely killing someone with teleblock and not necessarily ragging them. You're gonna get someone to barrage it or at least entangle, yeah? And then you can run in an attack or wait the fucking six seconds longer and then tell you block. Nine out of ten times they're not gonna tell you away because they're not gonna why would they tell you away, you know? Unless you are that fucking person risking nothing with your friggin' earth staff with your two casts, then pricks like you will not get the hit because of the ten seconds. But if you are a legitimate PKer, let's say I'm in my full Doric, you're in your full mystic, you've entangled me, I'm thinking, I'ma kill this noob, he is so mine, he's got he's got friggin' mystics on, I'm coming in, I'm gonna bash him in the head for a fifty, maybe even a sixty, you know? So that doesn't go through many people's heads, you know, to just panic tab straight away the second you get entangled, you know? So that really won't affect that much. So you're trying to think how the how these rules can basically not affect the real PKers, but fuck over the raggers and spec Russian um, people like the Debo is in the bank and all that. I know I've probably rambled on for oof, seven minutes now. Shit, but yeah, this is the point. Like these rules will not affect a legitimate PKer in any way, but they're gonna fuck over every ragger and Russian. It's that simple, you know? Like, the, the people who risk stuff and still rag you, sure, these rules won't really apply and, you know, slow them down that much, but... Oh, excuse me. But you know what those people, you know, if you do if you do kill this moron, you're going to get some stuff, you know? And that is half the battle, because 
these raggers these days, they don't risk a goddamn. They don't even risk one thousand gold. They risk nothing. Like what happened back in the day with the O seven rushes, um, where they would run at you with this friggin' rune kite on the full black di, the friggin' uh, I think yeah, neat helm and the rune sebo with the rune bolts because they didn't want to use diamond. And if you killed them raggers, you got the stuff. But no, it's, it's not like that these days. Something needs to be done. Now I understand some people will not be happy with this or accept this new little scheme I've come up with, but just think guys, just think, you will not be getting spec rushed again, you will not be getting ragged by people risking 1k, and there's really no downside, but if you guys do find a downside, please comment and just say, shut up Ben, here's the downside, because, and then I'll, I'll try and, I don't know, I guess I'll try and figure some way around it, and we can talk and have a nice conversation about it, <laughs> but something does need to be done. And hopefully something like this or along the lines, maybe a Jagex mod is actually viewing this, but I highly doubt that. I'm going to be making a RuneScape forum post with this on anyway, and I'll link it in the um, comment, in the description box. Why did I forget about description, goddamn. I'll be linking it in the description box and you can actually check it out and leave some feedback maybe, maybe get it go in a little bit, maybe a Jagex mod can see it, maybe they can take elements of this, such as this or that or what just blah, 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 or whatever, and maybe do something with it. Oop shit. Something for with it. But until then, you know, this is something. This is definitely something that will slow down the bastards at least. You know? Anyways, that's pretty much it. I've rambled on for ooh shit, you know nearly ten minutes now. Probably most of you haven't made it this far because, you know, it's just literally just a text document. I'm sorry about that. It's not really much in-game uh, footage that would have helped this point. So there's really no point providing any. But, yeah, as always, hope you've enjoyed. Hope you've actually took something from this video. If you did enjoy, please give it a thumbs up. Maybe comment about this system I've came up with. If you didn't like it, you know, feel free to dislike it and then say you're, a sh you're shit because because this that sort of stuff really does help me in these videos and I do want to get better. So, yeah, see you later, guys. Bye-bye.